Every day I think about you. When I see different figures in clouds, even if they might be a fragment of my imagination. But as these tiny little droplets of water pass me by and I inhale, I become free. Free of loss, free of worry, free of pain. Today I can see heaven shine its healing rays down as they descend into the ocean, leaving ripples of love that reflect back up into the hearts of the angels. Every day I think about you. When I stargaze into Orion's belt and notice that it's not quite as straight as it was a month ago. When I see a satellite cross paths with a falling star or a feather lost in the wind or an empty cave or a single paw print every day. I think about you. When positivity becomes impossible, and when possible is with the sun before its daily birth, when it hasn't decided to peak yet and shine on the world, that's how I feel right now. I'm not ready to move on, but like the sun I have to. I have to keep my light shining and do it because I absolutely need to. Every day I think about you, because I've realized that everything reminds me of you. There was not one specific fragment, only millions of the same piece of peace. A single petal in a rose takes one thornless breath, but without those thorns the beauty is lost. Without those thorns the rose has no defense. You were my thorns and now I either have to create new ones or become a whole entire different flower. Pain is temporary and your soul is a river that does not stop flowing, that has no end nor beginning, only a continuous stream of beautiful life that is directly connected and will always be with me. You taught me patience, and to love everyone no matter what. Unconditional with no limits, even if the sign says no trespassing. And when I speed 120 miles per hour past that sign, and when the sirens of grief and sorrow try to pull me over, I will push that pedal of survival to the max and never look back. We will all miss you, sweet little girl. There will never be a day when I don't think about you. So I hold you someplace where I can always feel your presence in my heart. The lower chambers, the chambers that pump blood out, because that's what you did. You never expected to receive, except for the food, of course. But 99% of the time, you gave. And now every single organ, every single tissue reminds me to give before receiving. Every time I hear a tick of a clock, and when that hand strikes two, the hour that you passed, I smile. And remember that time you barked at the clock because your eyesight was so bad that you thought it was a bird. I think about you when I smell the ocean and feel the rocking of the waves back and forth, back and forth. And when the whitewash lifts me up and spits me out. And as I tumble for dear life and feel your presence pull me in the right direction. Or when the claws of life scratch my back from behind me and I see your loyal face in a year ago. And my faith was on the wall of shame. In my room as I was sobbing fountains of lifeless confusion. You were there to hold. You were there to answer all of my questions without saying even a word. Because as I stared into those deep yellow fireflies, I saw the happiest place on earth. I saw heaven. And on that last day when I was holding on to you for dear life, crying as if my life was being dragged into quicksand, or when you were lying on the couch ready to take your last breath, a breath that wasn't forced. That just slipped away, like the first fish I ever caught as a child. I looked into its eyes and it was looking back at mine, and I felt like we had known each other forever. Then it slipped out of my hands and drifted away, but the memory remained untouched. As I felt your body grow colder than the bottom of a 200-year-old glacier, I can still hear the beating of your strong little heart. It took double the dose to put you to sleep. That stubborn little heart affected so many lives that you will never believe. I will always remember in my mind's eye that last time you looked up and I saw those same beautiful eyes. And I still saw heaven. Everything reminds me of you. There is nothing more I can ask for. All my prayers have been... Thank you.